I'm gonna get started in a second. It's all about sort of global editing of graphics. I've had this happen where you need to change one element and uh, you know, it's across 20 different artboards or however many. I've had that happen before, so I'm gonna show you how to do it uh, here in about 30 seconds. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. So I will uh, be right back and we'll see you soon. All right, hello there, everyone. Good to see you. Let me know if you could see and hear me loud and clear. Would love to hear from you. Uh, today is all about searching and replacing graphics. I'm not talking about like replacing a color. That's pretty easy. I'm talking about replacing graphics. You know, it's like if you ever need to find and replace a word in a Google document, imagine if you could do that visually. So that's the plan today. Um, and it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm just trying to say hello to everyone. Hello there. I'm going to be live all week with these pro tips. So uh, I'm glad you guys are uh, hanging out with me. So yes, let's, let's do this and uh, make sure everything is good to go. All right. So thank you very much. Hopefully you can hear me loud and clear and all that good stuff. All right, let's dive into this. Uh, hello, KB from uh, Italy, Patrick, Frank, Umacorn, Steve, what's up, Afroja? Awesome. So, gang's all here. By the way, at the end of the week, I'm going to be having a conversation on Discord, kind of wrapping up a lot of these techniques and tips and tricks and adding some additional color and information about them as well. So that's the plan. But let's dive on into it. Dive into our problem. Uh, yes, I had a great vacation. Happy Monday morning. Uh, good to see everyone, and yeah, I'm glad you guys are here. So, let's do this now. All right, cool. So here's here's kind of the situation. It's like, okay, I have this design. You guys ever done this? Like, okay, I got this cool. Technically, this is the logo for the company. It's just this little impossible triangle, right? So what I need to do is uh, I, need to, I need to change it, right? Maybe I need to reverse it or add more to it. What if I need to flip it upside down? What if I need to add more to it? How can I find this element everywhere? Uh, like if I wanted to replace like this element here, which happens to be their logo, just a larger version, with this updated logo. So here's their new logo. It looks more like an I, kind of says impossible a little bit more. So how can we do this? Well, check this out. If I select this object, I know it happens to be throughout this document, just within this viewable area. I can have this as many different places as I want. Boom, boom. Up here, uh, you know, rotate it at a weird angle, things like that. But with this object selected, I can go to my properties panel, go down here to start global edit. So this is not a symbol. It's just a shape that's everywhere. But check this out. Boom. Clicking there, it highlights everywhere where it's being used, okay? Highlights it everywhere, and now it, it, it is editable. So I can come over here to say this version, paste this new one in, maybe resize it down a touch, and then delete the one behind it. Now let's see what it looks like, boom. It has updated it everywhere. We have this new logo updated everywhere where we see it. And yeah, we might need to move these around and everything like that. We could easily do that. But isn't that cool? Sort of a, a global find and replace, right? I think it's pretty darn awesome. Um, yeah, what else can we do to it? I noticed I, let's roll this back a little bit because this is where we did our global edit. Let's see if we could maybe break it somehow or see see what the ch what changes will happen and how will it will affect it. Let's say for instance this object has a different color. 
So here's one that's pink. This one, still the logo, but it's gonna be a different color like that. This one, transparency is gonna be maybe 20%. This one here, by the way, the stroke is two point. Let's crank that up to like 20, right? Do you think, this is my question for you guys. Um, do you think that it will find these new versions, right? Will it find them? That is the question. You know, will it blend or will it find? So let's try it. We'll go back to this original one right up here. We'll select it. We'll hit start global edit right here. And shablamo, it does recognize them. So even if you change it, we're not changing the shape. Um, we're changing the properties. So if you could change it in your properties panel, say here, um, it's gonna recognize it. It changed, we changed the stroke, but we didn't actually manipulate that shape or break it. As soon as we, we break that shape or make it look different, it's not gonna find it. Just an FYI. But I think this is pretty darn awesome. So I can go in here, since I'm doing this global edit, right, we can just kinda, uh, grab these points and watch, even as I change it, let's move it up a little bit. You can see that it changes everywhere, right? Super cool. I just think this is awesome. I have a thousand examples of this, by the way, right? Here, I just made something look ugly. Um, <laughs> but again, you, you might do that because uh, I just love being able to change things after the fact. I did mention symbols earlier. I could always make something a symbol, by the way, and uh, it will sort of you'll just have instances of that symbol everywhere. This is not a symbol. These are not symbols. These are just basically grouped shapes right over here. So anyways, I think it's pretty darn awesome. I'm into it. I can make a mess, right? I made a mess with this one, for instance. Let's actually change this one. We'll do a global edit. We're gonna edit this one. We're gonna kind of roll it back to where it was using this version, back down, and then done, and we're fixed. So I think this is awesome. I think too many people um, uh, just, there we go, uh, need to know about this. Somebody asked about patterns uh, and uh, more complex scenarios. I think this is great, by the way. Let's go to this version. So now this one, you could kind of read how it says a lot of fun. How could I select these larger circles. Chances are you would go in and you would select them here, go through here, select them here, select them here, and you have to do that for all of them. It's such a pain, right? Is there a faster way? There better be, otherwise you shouldn't have mentioned it, Paul. I'm gonna select just one of these circles, right? Selecting it, going to Start Global Edit. We'll click right there. It recognizes all of those all of those larger circles, not the smaller circles, so it can differentiate between these size circles and the smaller ones. I think that's absolutely just insane, by the way. Is that not insane? Are you not entertained? And now I can go into edit colors and recolor artwork because my current problem with this, uh, uh, well, it'll just recolor that one, apparently. But yeah, if I just change the color of this, just case in point, let's just change this to, uh, well, let's go red, actually. Change that to red, click out, and it changes that for red for all of them. And then just, this design's much easier to see. Very powerful. There's a lot you can do with global edit. Isn't this cool? Okay. Varun, what's up, buddy? Appreciate all your work that you do on the social medias and stuff like that. It's very cool to see. Feel free to follow me and all that fun stuff through the links below. Um, again, someone mentioned patterns. Here's a more complex pattern. Um, and looking at this, I'm noticing that the white flowers, a couple things are getting lost. Like the white of this flower is getting lost. Right, so a lot of times you'll, maybe you'll try to do this. You'll be like, oh, I'll select this. I'll go to select same fill color, but it selects that white in everything. That's not what I wanna do, right? I just wanna change the white of this flower regardless of where this flower is. So it might be another version over here because it's getting lost. Can we all agree? 
Okay, so we'll move one over there. We'll move one over here. You created this lovely pattern and you're like, oh, I just got to change that one element. Well, let's do that. We'll go right here. We'll select it. We'll go to start global edit, selecting that. It selects it everywhere, right? Currently in four places, but wherever it is, hey, it'll change it. I can jump in, select this. Hold on, let's make sure. Let's do this one more time. It's helpful to keep an eye on global edit. I'm gonna do a start global edit. And select just the white. Select this white, select this white, and then change the color to say pink. And let's make sure it's something like that. So there we did, we just changed the uh, white flower to pink everywhere it is in this design. So hopefully you guys are catching sort of a glimpse for how powerful this is um, and uh, can see what it can do. It's just absolutely amazing, you know? Don't believe me, don't believe it works. Hey, start global edit for this butterfly does the same thing, right? Uh, if you go into the properties panel, you'll see we're doing a global edit right now. Click this flyout menu. And from here, you can match the appearance, the size, right, or not. So you can exclude some things. As I turn off, say, match the size, it's no longer going to recognize this butterfly because it's at a different size. So for the most versatile use of global edit, uncheck those, do all artboards, um, include objects on canvas, and uh, that's how you get sort of the most uh, capability for using global edit, right? Is this not cool? And by the way, say, Varun, gotta use symbols more. S it, this is always the case. If you're like me, you're, you're designing, man. You're too busy designing to make, it's only after the fact, at least for me, that I realize I'm like, oh, I should have turned that into a symbol now, just in case I wanna edit it later on. But in the moment when you're designing, like when I'm making a pattern like this, you know, I'm like, I'm not thinking about that. I'm just like moving stuff around and it's grouped and blah, blah, blah. And then it's not till I zoom out later that I realize, oh, this flower is kind of ugly. This flower needs, needs some more like petals, right? And this is still a case where I would jump in and say, hey, you know what, right? Click on it, start global edit, uh, grab, I don't know, the pencil with, this will be interesting as I draw with a uh, white stroke or just a lighter stroke like that. Let's change the da da like that. And then let's like draw some more. So I'm adding kind of like more petals or just adding more detail to this uh, because it needs it. And it's not something that I realized at the time, but it's like, geez, when I made this one bigger, I'm like, okay, this could be a little bit better, could it have like a little bit more detail? And notice how it's adding it everywhere in there too. Cool. Isn't this magical? So thank you so much for joining me. Uh, and uh, yeah, oops. All right, cool. Uh, cancel. Isn't that nice, right? So I've gone through a couple examples already. Again, global edit, working on shapes, lo great for replacing logos. Because I used to do this all the time. It's like, I used to work at a company. They would just update the logo a little bit. And you couldn't, it was almost imperceptible, but I'm like, I gotta change it everywhere. Oh, I didn't make it a symbol. Start global edit, we can change it there. We did it here. We did it for these circles. We did it for these flowers. Let's take something more complex like uh, this card deck. Like, look at this. Here we have almost all the suits to a deck. And what I, what I really need to do is I need to make the, uh, the next suit, right? What's the difference in most of these suits? It's just going to be um, like mainly the, the, uh, the, the suit itself, right? So how can we make the spades? 
Let's make the spades from the clubs. Let's see how fast we can do this. Using the artboard tool, I'm gonna hold down the shift key and I'm gonna click and drag and select all of those, not that one. They're all highlighted. Option shift, drag down to there. Oops, I forgot one thing. Right up here, make sure you have this selected. Click right here, it says, hey, you know what? Grab the artwork with the artboards and we'll go ahead and we'll make this second set like so. Um, let's cut it. New layer, let's see if this works. Paste. Or let's do this real fast. I'm gonna do this one more time, by the way. Uh, don't do that. You, when you have your artboard tool selected, you need to hold down the shift key and then you draw like a marquee around everything you need. Option shift drag down like so. Okay, there it is. Um, what I would then do is I would actually sort of grab all these elements and I would just lock them in place or group them because I don't want to change those. So in fact, like we'll cut those, we'll put those on a separate layer. That's what I'll do. There we go. They're on a separate layer. They're locked down. This is the one I need to change. We're going to change clubs to spades. I'm going to grab this spade right here. Going right in here, we're going to select this one. Maybe we'll zoom out so we can see everything. Option command zero. And then here we'll do our magic. Uh, Oh, Ernesto, you are too kind. I'm surprised people are not sick of me, but thank you for being so kind. Check this out. Start global edit. Change all those cards. Start global edit. Bam. Why does it not select these? Because I locked this layer down. I'm saying, hey, you know what? I don't need those. But look, it selected all of those. In fact, will it tell me over here? 90 objects. 90 objects have been highlighted. And now what I can do is go to this one over here. Hey buddy, there you are. Paste, move it in place. Hopefully it did it. Let me zoom out. And then grab the, boom, done. How you like me now, huh? How you like me now? Done, done, done. These were all clubs, now they're spades. Are you not impressed? You should be impressed. Look at that, I just knocked out a whole other, um, what a, I'm drawing a blank. What are they called? Cards? <laughs> uh, the whole, a whole other suit of cards. 90 objects changed just like that. So um, yeah. And yes, thank you so much Varun for, uh, I am feeling better guys. I did like, I got, a, got my face lasered and, um, to remove some scars so I look kind of beat up. So now we're, you could just see my face, just a, in full transparency here. But also I wanted to use this to point out the fact that uh, if you join me this Friday, we can get into more of these details or try it out for yourself, okay? So that's the Discord that you'll also see linked in the description below. All right, so we did our deck of cards. I don't know, what else, what else do you want? How many things can be changed? If we even decide that we don't like, ooh, that's interesting. Here's a situation, and I'm glad this came up. Uh, oh, I was doing I was doing some different things here. It looks like I did. It looks like I did a flip here. This is a little indication into how I, this was put together, because it looks like I used uh, mirror repeat on this. So that's how I created some of these. Is I just did a mirror repeat, which is nice. But for this repeat, we'll just release it. Um, and maybe should it be like this? I don't know. Should it be like this? Anyways, here's a case where like, what if I want to change all these hearts on this card? So let's ungroup this. Let's see if this works, guys. We're going to learn together. Uh, I want to change this heart to this diamond. So we'll copy this. If we, uh, if you paid attention earlier, you would see right in here, we can do a uh, global edit, but this time, oh, I was just going to see if I could range, hold on, 
I'm just I'm just detecting the artboard. So you can constrain it to your artboard. I know there's a lot of artboards in here, but I would constrain it to this one artboard if you want to do that, but just to dive into um, more of uh, these capabilities. We'll give this a second. I see your request for more 3D. Uh, yeah, 3D, uh, do more streams than a new 3D update. That sounds good, man. I love the 3D, I know you do. So, so yeah, let's take care of it. Currently, all Illustrator is thinking. So we'll, we'll let's think about it. I essentially made about 50 artboards and it's going through that right now. Oh, thank you, it's on 32. It's right here. I could have just looked right here. So thank you. <laughs> thank you, Umacord. I could have just looked there. I was pointing at it in the artboard. Uh, but nonetheless, that's what I'd constrict it to. Although it uh, looks like Illustrator's like, you know, currently like taking a, a timeout right now. So that's no... That's no fun. Um, but yes, a lot of artboards, over 50 artboards. It will work across artboards or you can strain it to certain artboards. You get the idea, okay? So that's, that's how that works. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, this is fun. Give me a second. You know, I don't have time for this. It could, I could wait for it. Let's just go ahead and kill that and we'll jump back in really fast uh, with this. If you guys don't mind. That's right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go back in. Uh, as Varun stated, I think we do have a, a recent update to Illustrator. Just so you're aware, you can go in and learn more about, say, Illustrator and... This is why I love, I can, I can open up all these recovered files if I want to. So we'll give them a second. But in Creative Cloud, you can see sort of the versions that you have. So you have other versions available if you want to install those, but I'm using 27.3 uh, and uh, you can see a number of tutorials and all that good stuff. So that's all I wanted to show you as we get back into this right here. Cool. And we're back, and we'll fix this really fast. It's just this one spot right here. Again, too many artboards. Let's release that one more time. Flip it. I'm curious to see if this works. Because I'm actually not sure. So this is artboard number 32. So let's see. Let's select this heart. Go to... Select range 32 and let's just do a start global edit and it did it. So yes, it just selected the hearts on this artboard. Not a big deal, but just showing you that this actually, this does work. Um, at that point, I'd probably copy this diamond, go in here, start global edit. It selects just those, not the other hearts. And then we'll paste that in there like so. As an example, we can see that diamond and let's remove that one and done. Cool, cool. Well on our way for creating our deck, which I like a lot, right? And I can run with it. Okay, from here, these other documents that we have in here. So I can go back even to these circles just to kind of reiterate all of these little circles. I can change the properties of these as well. This is just a circle. We did start global edit here. It recognizes it everywhere. Even though those are other those other circles are just smaller is really the only difference. Uh, but in this case, maybe I want it to stand out a little bit more. So let's jump in and throw, say, a stroke around it. Boom, there we are. Thicken it up like so. This might just be a different style I want for this, but how easy is that to do? I think it's pretty impressive. So, uh, yeah, did I save earlier today? Sure, I saved, but the nice thing is, is like, guys, I remember always having to recreate things. Do you just grit your teeth and you just have to recreate stuff when, when you know, apps crash? And that's not the case. The worst that happens is you, 
you know, you're live streaming and you're using your processor and really beating up your machine like I do, and you just end up with a recovered file. It works out just as well. So we'll take these other ones right in here. I think all of these could be a little bit bigger. Let's do a start global edit on all those little dots. Now for these little dots, I just wanna scale it up. So let's grab it, let's scale it up, maybe twice the size. But not only that, let's see what happens if I just drop down the opacity, right? Just a different look I'm going for, for this. But the fact that I can make these little changes so quickly is huge, absolutely huge. All right, right in here. Now it's recognized, it'll recognize this object. Uh, actually, let's see what happens if I start global edit. It recognizes it even though I added this stroke as well. Because right now I'm thinking, you know what? I'm not crazy about the stroke. Let's actually remove it. Can we all agree that stroke was a bad idea? Let's remove it. It removes it everywhere. And now we have a design that's maybe even harder to see, right? Cool. All right, what else you guys want? Yes, the symbol instances can have different colors too. So again, right in here for this one, I'll just do this one more time. Uh, jump in here, I'll change this to say uh, a green or a teal, right? This could be teal and the stroke can be different as well. So do you think it's gonna recognize all of these at different sizes and different thicknesses and color? Let's try it out. Start global edit. Well, thank you very much. It did its job. And uh, for this one, let's just increase the stroke. So as soon as I hit stroke of three points, it universally made everything, the thickness three points, right? So it, this one will override it, which is what I'm doing now. Three, four, five, you get the idea. But you know, I can, if I wanted to say have a uniform size, I can jump in and do that. So pretty powerful what you can do with global edits in Illustrator, I think it's amazing. Uh, I hope you guys are into it as well. And uh, I thank you guys for joining me today. So I'll be back tomorrow. Join the conversation on Discord, especially later this week. But uh, essentially tomorrow, I have a whole ton of things going on this week. It's going to be so much fun. Tomorrow, I'm going to take th that pattern and we're going to make some seamless patterns uh, that add depth. We're going to be using some repeating elements and of course the pattern maker. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, and my goal is to make it seamless. And, uh, you know, I wanted to say thanks for hanging out with me today. My name is Paul Trandy and I uh, appreciate you guys hanging out and stay tuned. We've got more fun stuff going on today, but also join me tomorrow. Thanks so much, everybody. We will see you.